Okay, so let's talk about this machine. I had a couple of questions on this machine. I've never really done a, a tutorial on this machine because when I done my unboxing, I bought this machine on clearance at Michael's and it did not have everything. Like it didn't have a tool. It did it only had it don't be honest with you, it only came with one bobbin. One. And um, the needle that already came with it, it was like someone had bought, and then they put the the foot, the hand of foot pedal was okay, but the power cord is not the requirement. It's supposed to be, I think, like a five point. Let me see. Should be on the bottom here somewhere. See, it requires a 5.9 card, but this card that I have in is a 5.8, so it's not fully, so it's a 5.8, okay, so it's not um, the required card that came with the machine. So I don't know if you remember that, I'll link the video to my unboxing to this machine. So what I did was I went through and I printed off the instructions. Because most singers really, they come with like an instruction paper, but they don't really come with the instructions to the machine. Um, at least the ones I bought anyway. So this is the Singer M1000. And it is a um, I can't remember what year and it doesn't say here I think it came out in 2020 you'd have to go and view my um, unboxing and I think I mentioned the year on there when this particular machine came out so I'm gonna go through the instructions like I don't know anything about the machine um, and it's compatible with the M1005 which I do not own so we're going to go through as if I don't know anything about the machine because I've had a couple of questions about the threading and notice I didn't thread it and um, the tension and everything on the machine okay so it was supposed to come with the four bobbins that only came with one it didn't come with any needles other than a needle that was in there and I have since changed it to a heavy duty needle um, it was supposed to come with a needle threader didn't come with that the paddle and the um, oh and these are class 15 bobbins okay class 15 bobbins and it came with the foot uh what call is they call it a foot switch I call it a hand or foot pedal because typically with this machine I've been using my hand to work it in the screwdriver which it did not come with okay so on this particular machine um here at the back this right here is the power and you'll know the difference because it'll have like the power sign here and then this is the foot pedal and it also has like the foot pedal um, like it's imprinted right here for the foot pedal and the machine is like very light it's very light um, and it comes with like the sleeve. You can do like the sleeve um, or pant leg. So it's made for that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, it shows us how to thread the machine. Again, I'm gonna act like I don't know anything about 
the machine. We're going to go through and talk about it as if we know nothing about it. And we'll go through it together because I've had quite a few questions about this particular machine. So let me grab some thread. do pink the pink pink bobbin This is supposed to be turned toward you. It's supposed to be turned toward you. Is the hand wheel and it, you know, operates the needle up and down and the, of course, the um, take up lever. Why I was, I couldn't think of that. I should know that. But anyway, toward you, take up lever, needle. Okay. So let's put this red on and of course it has like the, the winding um instructions and it has how it is supposed to be threaded okay so the thread goes here i'm just using some coats and clark um polyester thread piece here around this piece here and then down through this chamber back up thread it through the take up lever to go through the needle guard supposed to be turned down with the thread going out. Insert it.
one is just, you know, that's facing you. And so it goes in into the second loop and around. chambers down through this chamber back up and hand um, the uh, take up lever thread it underneath the needle guard there's a needle guard here and in the back and let me do a test run to be sure that I have it um, completely threaded correctly And if you go up, okay, if you go up, that loosens the stitching tension. If you go down, it tightens, okay, the tension. So the average, you know, you want it between three and four. I mean, that's just the average on what, I mean, it did just perfectly fine with, um, this thick fabric only because it was thick, you know, but had it been thinner, it would have kind of puckered together, uh, it would have gathered had the fabric been any thinner because I had the tension really, really, really tight, okay? Nine, eight, seven, and I'm down to one. Like I said, average would be between the three and so you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Okay, A, D, and F are the same stitch, which is the right needle position. B and E are the middle positions. And then F is your left position in terms of your stitches. And you can see where, like it's to the right, to the middle, to the middle, to the middle, to the middle, and to the left. Okay. And that's pretty much it. This is your back space. Okay, so in terms of the stitches, in terms of the stitches, you have your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. A, D, and F are the same stitch. B and E are the middle stitches, and F is the left stitch. And the uh, line indicates where the, sti where, where the stitch will um, be. So, like when you you're turning it, you'll see that your needle will move in that position. I have a video on that. Um, I'll insert a link below in terms of your needle positioning okay um securing the thread the thread or your your stitch securing it 
you don't have to do like you do with the smaller uh, handheld machine. This does have a backspace and this is your backspace stitch, okay? In terms of securing your stitch. Um, the most important thing to remember, like I said, um, when you go up, you're loosening the stitch. When you go down, you're tightening the stitch. So your tension um, for your A, um, D, and F will be like from two to six, and it'll be the same for like your B and E. Um, you know, anywhere from two to six. I just usually leave it between four and five. Um, that's just average for me, you know, um, without sewing very, very thick um, fabric. Now, with this machine, I've not ever sewn thick fabric, but it'll be the same when you're threading your needle. Always have your presser foot up, and it loosens your tension, okay? It loosens your tension, which your tension disc will be, you know, behind this so when you put your needle down into I mean your thread down into the chamber your attention you know goes here have your press it put up remember it kind of expands the tension disc um, and it helps a lot it helps a lot um, that's pretty much it on this machine